It's a big week for soccer, Joe. It is. I feel like we need intern Cal to explain to us what intern Cal will be here on Thursday okay. to explain some uh, some soccer things. We're also because we care about Wrexham because of Ryan Reynolds yes. or like they they they're like the modern real life equivalent of Richmond FC or something like yeah, that. That's essentially what it is. Okay, and we're going to talk to Bubba Cunningham. We're scheduled to talk to a, a, a to UNC AD and NCAA basketball committee chair. Ooh. Bubba That's Cunningham fancy. later this week. Does NC State Thursday or Thursday? Does NC State and Carolina run the entirety of basketball and football now? Between Boo Corrigan yes. and Bubba? Yes. Who knew that the center of the college world runs through the triangle, right? So you think there's a little tit for tat there? You know, UNC has a big season oh. in football. So Boo's yeah. like now, of course, we were pointing out this wine and cheese, but Bubba and Boo are legitimate friends. Oh, of course. Like of course, Notre Dame whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. So this is not a, right. Yeah. No, so it is a, it is a big, it is a big week for soccer because yeah, Chelsea and Wrexham are doing this international tour. You know, now, not, not to be completely ignorant on soccer. I know who Chelsea is. Okay. But I do not, I don't get, I, I'm just being t- totally transparent and honest sure. with you. I don't get the whole Wrexham thing. Like I get it. Oh, Deadpool owns them or whatever. Like, Oh, okay, cool. So like my watching Ryan Reynolds, own the team from the sideline like what is the appeal of that i guess there's a chance that you might see ryan reynolds in chapel hill is he gonna die in front of us and then come back to life like i don't <laughs> is he getting i'm not pe- trying to be a ryan reynolds hater is he getting this pegged? just is he getting pegged like he wasn't deadpool this just feels to me like okay uh, cool. oh, well i think i think there's- I, I, I think chelsea playing in chapel hill is cool and they could be playing Carolina, and I think that would be cool. But what Chelsea team are we going to see, too? No, you're not going to see their, their, right. their A-list team, and that's fine. They, that's, they what have, that's, what these international, that's what these international soccer tours are, are kind of about. They bring, their, yeah. they, they bring their B and their C teams. They make money. It gives you a chance, <laughs> and that's what this is about, and that's why I'm, I'm curious to talk to Bubba Cunningham about it, because this is revenue for UNC. Yeah. This is all going to sell out, right? It's going to sell out. If yeah. It's not already sold out. It's going to be a spectacle, which is the reason why, if I was going to go, that's that's why I would go. I don't give a damn about either team. I would go just to see a spectacle. And again, there pleading ignorance. Keenan. Is this going to be on TV? Yeah, yes, ESPN is going to broadcast. Okay, it. now if they turn this into an infomercial <laughs> for Carolina football, or I would love it because then would an NC State fan then be like, I can't believe this franchise doesn't care about the rest of the triangle? They get, they Which get is the single dumbest complaint from the outdoor game. Why is it Ryan Reynolds wearing NC State stuff? <laughs> This is upsetting to the me. announcers. What? I don't, I don't think a single NC State fan is going to care. Bubba about doesn't that. already have some sort of Jordan theme <laughs> kit for Ryan Reynolds. A Deadpool Probably. Jordan theme kit. We deeply disappointed. I think what's I think what Wednesday is ultimately about is yet another opportunity for the state of North Carolina to show just how soccer mad it might be, or this area might be. I'm looking at this from. Keenan specifically using this as yet another revenue source. It's the same thing. You know, we can make fun of David Tepper, the owner of the Carolina Her- Carolina Panthers, for saying, Oh, I, I brought live music he invented to Charlotte. Music, yeah. I, I, I invented the concert. And Luke Combs has played two nights in uh in Bank of America Stadium. Shout out to Darren Gant for getting the strategically placed Armonte Edwards photo jersey in that shot. Shout out to Darren Gant for trying to get Luke Combs to actually like App State. Yeah, true, true. Don't don't confuse Luke Combs with Eric no, Church. No, sir. Don't confuse no, the two. No, sir. They're don't both, confuse the two. They're now. both posers. Yeah, they're both, both of them. They're both UNC fans. I, I do wonder if Luke Combs is going to show up to uh, the Wrexham Chelsea game. So anyway, to, back to what this is ultimately about. It's about revenue opportunities. Yeah. And a smart move by Carolina. It's, a, it's an incredibly smart move. You know, Luke DeCock wrote a column over the weekend about, you know, this is an opportunity for the area to show how soccer crazy it is. You know, how much more of these events can take place. He brought up the, uh, the Chivas game that played at Carter Finley stadium, but like 11, 12 years ago, remember what Swansea came through and played at uh wake med soccer park um, against, what is it? Oh, I forgot the other team that, that played there that some people are into regardless. So, I don't view it as a soccer thing. I view this as schools continue to look for ways to generate revenue. And you've got three large football stadiums that can hold concerts. 
And the laws have changed with alcohol sales where you don't need special exemptions and you need to go and find the vendor and everything else right. to try to sell beer there as well. Chapel, Chapel Hill school's not in session. So that helps Chapel Hill with yes. their parking, which is a real thing. And their parking situation is a real thing. Unlike, unlike what's happening this weekend where they're literally laying turf, actual grass turf on, on top, top of the artificial turf. And that's something to low key keep an eye on. Yep. Keenan is best position. Well, I hate artificial turf. And I thought Carolina's move to artificial turf was just a complete overreaction to rain and practice facilities and everything else. Well, we I think Mac Brown said something along the lines of, well, we practice on artificial turf, so we might as well play on artificial turf. And if they're going to have the high school championships there, well, we might as well have turf too. If you're going to stick with the artificial turf, it makes it easier for you to bring concerts at Keenan than it is Carter Finley Stadium. Because there was a was it Colin uh, uh, Madwell, I believe is his last name. He's a he's a Canes guy, and he just kind of openly asked this question on social media. It's like, well, unless I'm missing something, why have there been more concerts at Carter Finley Stadium? And the first reason and the biggest reason was beer sales for the longest time. But the second reason, I think the last big show at Carter Finley Stadium was the Rolling Stones Zip Code Tour. Pretty sure that was the last big show at Carter Finley Stadium. Okay, what that was after you two. That was after you two. Okay. Because we had Beyonce, you two, and then the Rolling Stones. The Stones. Show. Okay. But the Stones were at Carter Finley? The, the Stones were oh, at Carter Finley. Oh, you're right. Finley. You're right. They were. Because they replaced the turf. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. That's part of the equation when somebody comes to Carter Finley Stadium. You have to pay for the turf to be resodded. Yeah. Which you don't have to do that at Keenan if it's artificial turf. You just put all the stuff down and then you fluff it up and you're good to go. Whereas at State, they're very serious about the grass at NC State. All right. So that's I mean, part. they were at Carolina too. It's they were, like- they were. <laughs> but so my point is that this is probably an opportunity to see how Keenan can handle big non-football events. And maybe we get more concerts that come through Keenan rather than big concerts coming through I, stadium. Yeah. Tours I, coming through, through bank of America stadium. I saw Bruce Springsteen at Keenan stadium. It was amazing. That was what? Oh, three. Mm-hmm. I think it was. Yeah. It was, was a, it was a great, ago. it was a great show. Unbelievable that, show. That was a, that was a long time we, with Carolina. It's all infrastructure and parking. That's all. That's all this is about get into bigger events for them. They can't do stuff during when classes are in session. No, you it, can't just, do that. That's why they forever were, were uh, didn't want Thursday night games. You know, they, they well, cause they have, an, they have a, they have an active working hospital it's a hospital. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, this isn't like also, yeah, it's not like it's an empty parking lot. It's a, it's a hospital yeah. on campus. Yeah. So, the, you know, I, I get it, you know, and, and in, confidence if bubble's gonna join us on thursday and he could he could say it himself but mm-hmm. he's told me before like the one thing that state has that i would love to have is the carter finley setup it, with the parking, the parking. and all, all all the things that they have for that he's like another, it's amazing here's another key part about the nc state carter finley thing when nc state's running the parking it's fine yeah when nc state's not running the parking <laughs> it's a problem it ends up being a problem